Today we will be having a look at underwater camera housing for Fujifilm X100S by Camdive. So, inside we have a flash diffuser, a wrist strap and cleaning cloth and o-ring and two silicone greases. We have a user manual. Let's have a look at the actual housing. Just have a look around it. So at the back you have the buttons corresponding to the buttons on the camera itself. So it's at the top, two knobs, here and there. And uh, there is a shutter button, which is right here. We have this plate uh, with uh, one quarter of an inch holes so that you can actually fit this housing onto a tray or an underwater handle. So let's open it up. See on the inside is this spring loaded knob which actually is very good it helps to keep the tension and select the exposure as well as we have a uh, moisture absorber packet and uh, probably the, the most important key feature is the leak detection sensor which emits the sound as well as light so you know if your housing is taken in water or not. So, we do have a Fujifilm X100S camera. As you can see, uh, it's a pretty neat camera, which is actually like more of a photo camera rather than video camera. And uh, let me just explain one thing. If you are not familiar with Fujifilm, X100S series or X100 series, there's no actual button on the camera itself to press and record the videos. Instead, there's a small little button called function. And this function button right here, you can designate this uh, to any function you want. So what we did in our case, we designated this for video. So when we press it, the video comes up, then we press the shutter button, it starts to record. So uh, let's put this camera inside the housing and uh, have a look at the forms and just to check the buttons. So when you put it in, don't forget to pull the knob up, otherwise you won't be able to put the camera inside the housing. As well as there's uh, enough space to put a little moisture absorber packet and uh, let's close it. And we just turn it on. So remove the cap. As you can see, controls here to turn on work just perfectly as intended. And it's already auto focusing on everything that it has to around us. And you can actually feel the auto focus through the housing, which is pretty nice. So we have the flash on at the moment. And uh, let's try to take a picture. Uh, let's see if you can see it from the front. So let's try our function button, which is actually a video button. It switches to a video mode. And then same, we press the trigger, which uh, triggers the video, starts the video. And the same way we can turn it off. Press the trigger one more time, the video is saved. And then we press the function button once again and goes back to photo. Overall, pretty good housing. The camera itself is a little bit heavy. So with the housing, I would say it's about 1.5, 1.7 kilos. But you won't feel it because underwater, you're not gonna feel anything. We do have uh, one more thing that uh, most of the underwater photographers should have red underwater filter, which is very, very useful tool. Sometimes you don't go too deep or you just go snorkeling. So let's go outside and see how it performs underwater. 